about three miles from home now. It's shattered really, not fucking walk for a while. Fucking lovely up here, man. We got five minutes out of the door and seen a family of monk jack. Oops. Not walked this path before. Just thought I'd come and have a look, see where it took me. Fuck you. It's probably about like three hundred and about 340-350 metres above sea level at the minute. <sighs> All little fucking streams. No problem in it then. Found the water. A bit of a valley at the minute. Fucking uphill again now. All ups and downs. Bikers. Bumped into the old bikers. Early morning riders. See where I'm going here. Well, I am where you come to a crossroads in your path, and which do you take? I think we'll uh, we might stick to the more used path. Because I've not walked this route before. Bit of valley I'm in. That's still early yet. Still about half, half eightish from all that. Patchy cloud. Just trying to break through. I think it will do though. <laughs> bit out on my fucking. Uh, Navigational fucking aspect here because I've not been this way. Coming up to uh, the parking road in the path, I should say. Planting like a fucking greyhound that's been running fucking track. I used to use my head this time, I brought water on it. I usually come up here and not fucking bother. So I thought, may as well, while I'm on my own, bring it up and spend a few hours up here. Let's have a look see what this uh, well that's a, that's the path I'm gonna take. But let's just have a look at this. Concessionary Right away, you can't see it on here. Still a bit too. Still a bit too uh, limited on lighting at the moment with this cloud cover. Oh. See fresh bike tracks in due. So I'm presuming them two guys have just come from this way. I'm heading up to that. See the mast in the distance. I'm heading that way. Uh, I'm hoping this path's going to take me to those because, like I say, I've not been this way before. Uh, still plenty of wildlife about. The uh, deer running about. 
monk jacks There's plenty of what we call slag piles up here it's a very see old old slag piles line of it it's uh, the spoil from the mining industry and pottery a lot of pottery up here uh, I'll stick to the more used pathways as the last time I did this ended up fucking knee deep in shit I had my own stupid fault by crossing over the fields uh, which are really nice and flat until you actually get on them and you're actually ways deep in divots and just tufts of grass really, it's a hidden boggy land between it not many sheep about today <laughs> oh look, so this path's actually leading me away but oh, no rush that's what I'm here for, clear bed just a nice walk along Fresh. Looks like somebody's just come up with the arse. Fresh dung about. I don't know. Might find the old spot where I used to uh, collect my magic mushrooms. Just about in season now. Uh, not bag with me, I might just sit down and enjoy them. <laughs> Ripping away on the old fucking hill. But, I might not come across them. It's great land up here, man. Can't see very well because it's, it's, as you can see, it's very overcast. Nice dark black clouds above me. You get wet, you get wet, don't you? It's fucking life, isn't it, man? You know? See all the fucking mist rising from the streams. The old, uh, the old collar is around here. Uh, fucking, I get deeper in, and uh, what I'll do is I'll get. Uh, I got some more, some more feed up here. There you go. The old curb stones here. The old miners' tracks. These. As you see, there used to be a cobbled road. Uh, I ain't walked. <laughs> I ain't walked this way, so I'm a bit, a little bit disorientated at the moment. Uh, the mast. Looks further away than it actually is. It's possibly about two mile, two mile from me. I'll show you how big it is when I actually get to it. But nearing now the top of the West Pennine Moors, as you can see, there are the slag piles. The old slag piles that are right along. Proper little mining industry up here. Uh, I think this was probably the end of the mint mines here because it was only on the eastern side of the hill and the well, the southeastern side of the hill. So love this. On bottle of water and just chill, really. Fucking clear the old head to see if everything's worth still going on and hitting your head up against these fucking brick walls all the time. Just fucking trying to wake stupid fucking people up. And you're a fine example with fucking Thursday's fucking voting up in Scotland. 
blatant fiddling and you got stupid fucked up people that fucking sit there and take it and oh our government would never do that ah I know where I am now I think if I'm correct I'm coming up to a, the road that leads and then maybe maybe not actually because I am fucking totally disoriented here looks like a road though, we've got some road signs uh, possible if it is what I'll do, I'll hang it right, yeah it is it's a, it's a road going up, the service road going up to the mast well, that big fella there he's uh, 1500 and I think it's about 60 feet, something like that uh, yes, this is it. This is a service road. Oh, many years since I've been on this road. Many years. Always follow the country codes when you're up here. It's open. It's closing behind you. In fact, let's just drop back in a second because I've got show you where I am. Right. Welcome to Access Land. Wind with Nil Moor, Engels Eight Moor, Rivington Moor, Smithles Moor. Access Land is provided for you to enjoy walking freely across these moors. Please observe the absorb, observe the restrictions. See back of this sign. What so I rip it off to off it look at back a bit? Oh, are you referring to another sign behind? Oh, okay. That's what the fuck? As you can see, there's some sad fuckers about. The old uh, swastika slapped across it. Alright. Access land restrictions, countryside and rights of way act. Notice the word act. 2001. Never lawful statements are they? Uh, these these restrictions are, are to be observed by anyone entering access land. Anyone in breach of these restrictions will lose their right of access to land. Oh my God! Yeah, I suppose you're going to fucking watch out for pass for us all the time, are you? <laughs> and lose their rights of access to land in the same ownership as that on which. <laughs> which the breach occurred for the period of 72 fucking hours oh man <laughs> and may be treated as trespassers by the owner of the land <laughs> we're gonna leave these people out so we could bit of a dip here it's me back you can see now at the Service road. Hopefully that fucking orange bastard in the sky that will fucking poke its head out. As you can see, well, you can't actually. The fucking camera's not making it out. But hold uh, like a small castle up there. It's, uh, it's about fucking three miles. So I'm not going to that. So. No, oh, I'm not, you never used this fucking camera before either, tell you the truth, so I'm hoping everything's fucking recording. Seems to be. It's flashing away at me, a little red light saying recording. That's whether I've done the saving procedure correctly. You can actually feel the static the electric in the air off this fucking thing here. Uh, see where you come to the fork in the road again. I've got to just keep my eye front and behind me. It's not a regularly reused road, this, but I love just mooching about, really. Let's see. Uh, <coughs> see what 
got 20, 25 years since I've been up here. Quite surprised actually, I've seen people a bit early in the morning. Probably got the same idea as I have actually. Get out here early. Fucking miss the fucking ramblers and everything. Well, can actually see some heads in distance up on the horse as well. Looks like they're working on me. The mast. Looking at the fixings on the guide ropes for the mast. You can see it clearer when I get up there. I'll live on knock it off for now. I'll put some more out in a bit. It's getting a bit closer. I'm not sure how long this battery's going to last. So I'll charged it before I come out here. Alright, in a bit. Got this long road now. Uh, let's say a mile and a half, maybe two mile. Probably done about three, three point four from a long moment. That took a longer way this way. Usually it's an all round trip. Six, six and a half mile. Uh, probably added about three mile onto this for myself. Uh, see some fucking big birds sat on the fence up there. Probably kites. Right. I'm going to give it a bit of a fucking do for you. I'll catch you in a bit, chaps. Another one. So I carry on on the footpath. Hurt them the road. The uh, service road. Oh. Do I take the scenic route? So I think we'll take the fucking footpath in it. Fuck it. Let's get off, off the road. Not a lot of people use that service road really. Oh. There's a uh, around here somewhere of uh, a plane crash in the uh, 70s, I think it was, but right. 70s, and uh, there was a freight liner coming from Isle of Man at uh, this, as you can see here, being reasonably high up. We get bad low clouds and that here and apparently they flew into the hill didn't miss that fucking big thing but I hit the hill which has left me a little bit confused really didn't they? fucking hell it must have been very 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 bad weather and apparently it took them fucking several hours to get here uh, the civilians actually hand dug the snow that was several feet deep up to the plane crash because it called a uh, snow cat off the motorway, local motorway. And by the time it got here, the local people had actually dug up. Uh, dug out the snow uh, enough to get emergency vehicles through. Uh, just so you'll not see them, but just in distance, got deer running up, running over hills there. I think you can see that. Uh, not much light up here today. It's got sort of a pastely bluey grey clouds over the top of it. Very warm though. But, uh, oops, found it all. That shot went straight up my back then. <laughs> Hopefully this fucking back won't give up on me. Fucking end up sat here like a spanner for hours. <sighs> fucking rusty old spanner. Lots of markers up here. Uh, there's a post up here that I'll show you. It's called the Scotsman's Post. 
uh, where he was murdered. No, it's a no, it's a very rough here. Oh, a lot of history behind it as well. Singing fucking drainage. Stopped me in video earlier down there. Uh, been taping for about fucking 15 minutes. Press one fucking button. Fucking. Oh, I've lost the old uh, video. As you see. There's the deer on the hill. You can't see it. Fucking. Shitty. Fucking. Shitty fucking. All clouds. I can see it clear as day with my eye. Just. Some reason camera's not picking it up. <sighs> See the iron ink, orange soil, absolutely full of iron up here. Fucking. Okay. It's actually further over in that direction that way is tin, copper, and iron ore mines. Well, you see a lot of soils very rich, you know, you know, here, you get odd patches, it's completely orange. Uh, and as you see, you still got, you still see, we got black, that's coal dust on that. A lot of fucking, it's actually, on that side it's actually full absolutely full of mines that have collapsed you can actually see them at ground level because of uh, where it's all collapsed uh, getting closer now to this I think I probably just cut about mile and a half out by coming across this footpath and uh, walking up here when I were a kid I think what I'll do up here as I'm getting a bit long in tooth is uh, take a pew as I think so uh, uh, like up and down, up and down. It's, it's weird. Well, it's not weird, it's fucking land, isn't it? It's nature. Well, leave it for a bit because I'm out of breath talking and walking. See in a bit. That's me at fucking highest point now. Highest point of the West Pennines. Look at that orange thing there trying to come through as well. It's fucking warm. Actually fucking piss through. Sweating me gonies off. But feel better. Just a bit of pain in back. Fucking used to that by now, you know what I mean? Well, a nice little walk. A bit less time than I actually thought. Clouds are coming in now, covering fucking small phone towers. Fucking pretty low cloud here. Yeah, pretty, pretty fucking high up though. A footpaths. Old footpaths made for fucking years. And York stone flags. As I was saying earlier, uh, fucked up on one of the recordings. Uh, 
for signs that I've seen. <laughs> Fucking axe. I'm, I'm not going back that way so I can't re record them. Uh, styles. I always remember gates. Country cord calls the gates. Sheep is running out in the fucking road and getting splattered. Oh, I've seen. What? I've seen, uh, I think there were half a dozen sheep in a little pen down there. Uh, I think they're for some do with a fucking actual mast. Because there's no farm up here. Uh, I can't believe how early it is actually. Quite quick. It's coming on my own as well. Usually when I bring people, I'm fucking slowing down so we can catch up. What my own pace I always have done. I end up fucking people lagging behind me. There's a lot of fenced off areas here because this side now where I'm heading was all the mine shafts and. Yeah, fenced off areas where they've collapsed. You've got fucking big fucking holes. Or unsafe ground. But, uh, <coughs> it's done well, two hours. Not had a smoke. Set off. Probably by the time I got completely ready. It's about. 20 past 7 uh, <coughs> like pretty quick this time fucking see where unstable grounds are so fucking put your bridges in see where it's all collapsing all around here see if you, well you can't really tell on here but it's a different colour grass going right through here see ya all the old mines collapsed here. There must have been a big cavern under here or something. It's, it's fucking completely collapsed. Like I said, it completely collapsed. It's dropped about four or five foot down. That's why it's all fenced off. You only get it's probably just half, half a well, probably just under a football field. And stuff here, which all collapsed. Good walk. So, you know, a lot more people than I actually thought I would. It's, uh, oh, it's getting back close to fucking mid morning now, so. Just trying to follow these paths well enough for uh, memory. I didn't do too bad. Memory served me right. <coughs> Managed to get me to the mast. Done that in about an hour and a half from home. So, so it's, it was just under four mile. So not too bad. Four mile fucking up and down round windy fucking road paths. Sliding all over as you can see when camera jerks. Losing footing. Fucking okay, idiot. Walking on the ship bit instead of walking on the path. Never learn. Just jarred my back again. The sun's actually warm, that's actually fucking fighting its way through. <coughs> Just in a clear bit at a minute. So to my left, clouds are actually at ground level. Like I say, this is the highest point here. Uh, that's why that big fucking mass there, as you can see now it's covering up my cloud. I think I just about got right. There. Uh, see if fucking patch, you know. Can't see the middle of the mast, really. Going up. As long as it stays dry, I'm not really bothered to tell you the truth. I'm arsed a bit rain to tell you the truth, fuck me. Been in worse. Fucking military training in fucking snow, man. I did me uh, basic training. 
uh, middle of winter I uh, managed to do everything possible in that <laughs> month I was out on the fields snow, rain thunder fucking cold December mornings there's a lot of strange looking things up here I don't know what the fuck they are over there but again, you can't see them I don't know what animal they are to tell you the truth fucking bit strange here, look at it oh the sheep, the black sheep fucking hell they had the redstone, I couldn't see them proper <laughs> that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it here they burned it's fucking great up here man, all alone me, my camera, my bottle of water. I'm listening to the old birds singing. The old birds, you mean? Can't see it really, can you? It's fucking over there. Where that streak of light's coming from camera? Over there's the uh, reservoirs that used to feed the coal mines, the fucking bleach hooks that are around here. <coughs> Excellent landscape up here. This road I am very long time since I walked over here. Or should I say stumbled down here. Just seems like they're picking pace up for some reason, I don't know why. Getting back into the swing of things, I think this is gonna have to start doing this regular thing. As you can see here, where the whole ground's collapsed. All right here. This is where all the mine shafts were. As I was saying, I've been I was a couple of miles that way. Uh, all this, like all the old mine shafts collapsed. Loads of them around here, man. Came loads of them. They were only shallow, the coal seams apparently were quite near the surface for some reason up here. So, that was a lot. There's uh, aqueducts up here, underground aqueducts. And nobody seems to know who or why they were built. Uh, yeah, it's just fucking downhill again. Stable ground. A lot of peat land up here. Obviously, we've been in moorland. But yeah, some strange looks. I walk past a couple of people. Get some strange looks off them. Fucking walking on your own with a fucking bright red camera in your hand. <laughs> you know the old saying? Fuck them. I don't have a problem with what I'm doing, so why the fuck should I do what else? You know what I mean? Get on with your own fucking life. Uh -huh. Carry on with your fucking sheep lax. It's good actually getting up here, it makes you clear minded. Lovely fresh air. Now done. Now done 72 hours now without a weed. <laughs> Debating whether I should stop, carry on. That's why I've come up here really, just have a good think. Clear my head, away from all the fucking computer shite, the fucking shit, fucking posts, fucking disinformationists, fucking all the shit from the Thursday bulletin, which were blatantly fucking rigged. As you can see, fuck. We've got some deep holes here that are filled with water. The ones that have actually fucking collapsed and gone right down to the bottom of the shafts. Uh, oh yeah. I mean, come on. You've got to be fucking mad to really believe that you're going to get fucking independence, you know. It's blatantly obvious, I've said it for ages, I wished you'd have got it 
you know, it's fucking I'd have definitely taken the bloodline back home back to Bonnie Scotland but so obvious fucking there's enough camera evidence out there to show the fucking Muppet sat there rigging shoving fucking ballots shuffling them about putting them in fucking yes uh no when it should have been in yes fucking so I mean things like that make you sometimes step back step back and you gotta look fucking is it worth it you know no matter what you're doing you're hitting your head against a brick wall November the 1st UK is fucked we've got the fucking Nice Treaty in brackets, fucking the Lisbon Treaty. That's it. Sign the fucking country over. Well, the fucking Queen and the fucking Parliament should be fucking hung. Treason. They have now relinquished all power of the country, which is in the people's contract, which he sort of signed. Used a fucking head in 1950 fucking three when she signed it used the red and signed the cunt on top, you know what I mean? Nil and void contract, contract I should say. So, I mean, fuck me. <laughs> just makes you fucking laugh, doesn't it really? Fucking piece of paper though, she's fucking signed in wrong fucking place. Anything, you know? Anything but fucking get away. New secret act. What's all that about? No fucking been granted a secrecy act. I mean, come on, fuck's sake. Queens. Fucking royalty. Who needs a fucking shite? You know, it's fucking disgusting. Let them fucking. Give them a fucking island somewhere. Let them fucking live on it. Leave us. Fucking leave us in peace. You know? They're evaluating things. What a cloudy hill. The sun's quite warm. Still got my jacket on because it's fucking still getting over a bit of a fucking chest infection. It's uh, burning like fuck to you too, but fuck it, I needed this, I needed get out, I needed walk about. Sort me head out. And then we have fucking loads of wagtails, fucking all sorts of people. I've not seen any more deer now, it's, uh, which I thought I would have been, because uh, it's well out of a populated area now, like, obviously, and a good fucking, probably dropped about 50 metres down now, something like that, probably not even that actually, oh, just a guesstimate. You know, like they did with voting on Thursday, you guessed him up. I just thought I'd try it. Yep. I've never actually done this before, I walked around fucking talking to a camera on my own. No wonder I'm getting strange looks. I've got two, wag two wagtails that are fucking trying their very best to stay about fucking 10 metres in front of me every time I catch up on them. They're fucking Flying off, man. Oh, there they go again. You can't see, you can't see them on here. Bit gossip actually, lighting. So, oh, battery's going. Can I call it a day on that one, chaps? Don't last long, does it? Right. See you later. Ta-da.